a film screening at the Blue Nile Academy, Ethiopia's only film school. Today, student Gedechu Yizengao is presenting his first film, a documentary about Rastafaris. The film screening is free. But trainer Abraham Haley Beru is not quite satisfied with its cinematography. The guy is a little bit uh, dark, so he needs more light to see. And then maybe he can come more closer to that guy that we can concentrate on the dialogue or on the interview, what he's saying. Abraham Haley Beru is a cameraman and a filmmaker. His films have won international awards. Because there was no film school in Ethiopia, he studied in the Netherlands. Now he wants to teach young filmmakers in his home country. I established the Blue Nile Film and Television Academy to, uh, to creak up the quality of uh, cinema here, that young talent can learn, uh, because there is no cinema school here at all. So for me, it's very important that this young talent uh, can learn what cinema it is, and that I can support a little bit. After a year of initial training, the students can choose their major, cinematography, screenwriting, directing or editing. Abraham has already trained more than 140 up-and-coming filmmakers at his own expense. The school does not receive any state support. Blue Nile Film and Television Academy is financed by myself, so I am well paid as European cinematographer. Then I can finance my school. Just my problem is equipment, because I must pay 300% incoming tax for the equipment. That's not easy. With no way of promoting the films and high taxes, the Ethiopian government makes it difficult for filmmakers to do their work. In this increasingly authoritarian state, the government fears critical artists, so its censors assess every film before its release. If you make your movie, there is uh, Addis Ababa Tourism and Culture Bureau, you need to have a permission, uh, allowance of uh, screening from this agency. That means this agency can block you if they are not happy with the message what you have. Abraham says that for this reason, many of his colleagues prefer to deal with less contentious topics. That's why I think most of them running to the comedy, because then, you know, it's only to laugh for people, not serious to think about the, the issue, what's going on in the country, the problem what we have, the social issues, etc., etc. Why should take one? Ready? Despite these problems, the Ethiopian film industry is booming. Every year, 100 films are produced here, mostly romantic comedies. As a producer, I have to work on market-oriented films. The genres that we produce right now are just romantic comedies, because that's what the market wants. The films are well received by Ethiopian audiences, but Abraham has bigger plans for the country's film industry. I want that our movie compete with other African countries and also with Europe. Why not? Because <clears throat> we understand cinema, that's not uh, a question. State censorship and poor infrastructure make life difficult for young filmmakers, but they refuse to give up their passion. <laughs>